psychology for dummies. Well, that's what Cambosos did. You saw what happened to him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is king, king of kings, king of kings. Go in there and just fuck this man up. You don't understand. I'm going to fuck him up. You don't know what I've been training like. You don't know the vision I have. You do not know I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'll break this whole thing right now. That's how I'm firing. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. With only two days remaining before the big Garcia versus Devin fight, everyone is concerned for Garcia. With new training footage of Haney out, even the boxing pros had to warn Garcia against fighting Devin. Ah! And you'll be surprised by just how many of them share this view. Let's look at what they're saying. The first to warn Garcia was Mike Tyson in a recent podcast interview. Tyson, known for his intimidating presence in the boxing world, advises Garcia that he needs an iron chin, not an iron fist, to face Haney. This suggests that Tyson believes Garcia's defensive skills will be crucial in the fight against Haney, who is known for his speed and agility. Tyson's warning shows that he recognizes Haney's ability to land quick and powerful punches that could potentially knock out his opponent. He seems to be cautioning Garcia that relying solely on offensive power might not be enough in this fight. People died after the 13th and 12th. Did they? Yeah, after the 12th round, after they showed that was the most, um, that's when most of the deaths occurred after the 12th or 13th. Instead, Garcia will need to focus on his defensive skills and ability to absorb punches hence the iron chin, to withstand Haney's sneaky speed. Then there was Tyson Fury, the heavyweight champion, with a crown as flamboyant as his fighting style when it comes to Devin Haney and his upcoming fight with Ryan Garcia. Fury's cryptic message to Garcia is a classic example of his wisdom. He advised Ryan Garcia to seek mental help first before even thinking of fighting Devin. Listen, there's a reason Devin's called the dream. Some dreams turn into nightmares, and you sure want to wake up from this one on the surface. Fury acknowledges Devin Haney's nickname, The Dream. Haney carries the image of a young, skilled fighter with a bright future. However, Fury takes a sharp turn, suggesting that facing Haney might not be the dream fight. Garcia imagines the dream of victory could morph into a nightmare of defeat. Approaching this without a proper mental state can mess things up. Here's where Fury's unconventional wisdom shines. He doesn't explicitly warn Garcia that Haney is the superior fighter. Instead, he plants a seed of doubt. Is Garcia truly prepared for the challenge Haney presents? Does he understand the complexities of facing a southpaw with exceptional footwork and a sharp jab? Talked about um, a lot of people before. People's opinions are what they are. Everyone's got different opinions, and we don't. Unless we know Ryan Garcia personally, which I don't, I can't call him and say, "Are you all right, mate?" You According to Fury Garcia, he may need to adjust his strategy, train harder, or even consider postponing the fight to be better prepared. Canelo also had something to say beyond the fireworks and fanfare of the fight itself. Canelo's recent comments reveal a deeper concern for his former protege, Ryan Garcia, especially after seeing the footage. Crazy. I tell Ryan Garcia before he signed, hey, just be careful and... At the end of the day, you know, I want to clarify something. What the f happened to your voice? They try to put me in jail, they're blocking my cards, I can't... Act Alvarez, known for his devastating punching power and strategic fighting style, isn't just another boxing pundit. He has a unique perspective on Garcia, having trained and mentored him in the past. This personal connection adds weight to his unease about Garcia's state of mind leading up to this crucial fight. Canelo's worries are rooted in Garcia's recent behavior. A string of erratic actions and social media posts have sparked concerns about Garcia's mental fitness. This isn't the first time Garcia has stepped away from boxing to address mental health issues. He is now scheduled for his second world title shot against the undefeated. Devin Haney Garcia's mental state becomes a critical factor in a candid conversation, and Diaz Claudia Trost Canelo's words paint a clear picture. 
His hope that Garcia has a strong support system speaks volumes in the statement, and as his friend or like when we used to train together, I wouldn't let him fight carries a heavy weight. It's not just a coach's doubt about a fighter's technical skills. It's a friend's genuine concern for Garcia's well-being. Canelo isn't questioning Garcia's talent, he's questioning his readiness to step into the ring, both physically and mentally, warning him that he might face a big challenge. This concern from Canelo goes beyond the immediate fight, a loss, especially at this critical juncture in Garcia's career, could have lasting consequences. Canelo, the seasoned champion, understands the mental toll that boxing can take. His words are a plea for Garcia to prioritize his health and ensure he's in the right headspace before facing a formidable opponent like Devin Haney. Floyd Money Mayweather has also warned Garcia against facing Haney Mayweather, a man with connections to both fighters who has emerged as a key voice in the middle of the pre-fight hype, offering insights that paint a fascinating picture of the potential battle lines. Mayweather's unique position as a past trainer for Haney and a sometime mentor to Garcia creates a captivating dynamic. Having nurtured Haney's skills since he was a child, Mayweather recognizes a reflection of his own defense. Hive-minded counterpunching style and his young protege, their shared approach honed through countless hours of training suggests a deep understanding between the two. Mayweather's past praise for Haney, calling him a sharp boxer with great skills after a sparring session, leaves little doubt in his mind about Haney's capabilities. This endorsement alone from a legend like Mayweather serves as a stark warning for Garcia, highlighting the technical expertise he'll be facing in the ring. Garcia's relationship with Mayweather, however, presents a different story. While Mayweather has acted as a mentor, their bond isn't as established as the one with Haney. There have been ups and downs, with a hint of a potentially more turbulent relationship despite this. Mayweather's vast experience and unparalleled success in the sport make his insights invaluable. His comments can be interpreted as a veiled message of concern for Garcia, a young fighter potentially heading into a lion's den Mayweather's advice to Garcia from witnessing Haney's recent training footage paints a picture of a heavy opponent. He recognizes the speed and agility Haney possesses, built to perfection through years of training, that mirror his own defensive principles. This focus on defense, a hallmark of the Mayweather style, could prove to be a major obstacle for Garcia. We're talking of a fighter with lightning-fast reflexes who's good at slipping punches and countering with laser-like precision. That's the challenge Garcia might face against Haney. This could be a soft warning to Garcia, reminding him that Haney is a determined fighter who won't back down easily. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., the middleweight slugger, offers cautionary feedback based on his own experiences. He warns Garcia, don't get into a boxing match with Devin Garcia, he'll outpoint you. Use your pressure to your advantage, but be smart about it. Chavez Jr. highlights a potential pitfall for Garcia. If he gets drawn into a technical boxing match with the skilled Haney, he might find himself outclassed. However, Garcia's strength lies in his ability to pressure opponents. Chavez Jr. suggests utilizing that pressure, but warns against being reckless Garcia needs to find a balance between applying pressure and maintaining a smart offense to avoid getting bogged down in a technical battle that favors Haney. While Juan Manuel Marquez, the legendary Mexican boxer known for his devastating knockout power, offers a short but impactful warning. Dev's got a great chin. Garcia, be prepared for a long fight. Marquez's words are a simple yet big reminder, while Garcia is known for his own powerful punches. Haney has a reputation for taking punches well. This advice encourages Garcia to be prepared for a fight that may last the full distance and to pace himself accordingly. Don't expect a quick knockout. Garcia needs to be strategic and persistent in his attack. Oscar De La Hoya, the retired boxing champion and promoter, offers a perspective that goes beyond technical advice. He states this is a fight boxing fans want to see, but Devin's a rising star. Don't underestimate him. Go out there and prove you're the better fighter. These warnings from boxing veterans paint a complex picture of the challenges Garcia faces in the upcoming fight, from navigating Haney's quick counters to maintaining pressure without getting bogged down in a technical brawl. 
Garcia's strategy will require careful planning and execution after taking the advice of these seasoned fighters. Garcia can step into the ring with a well-rounded approach and a heightened awareness of his opponent's strengths, giving him a fighting chance to emerge. Victorious, but what's your take on this? Share your thoughts on this, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more updates. See you in the next one.